the public library, the best place to find a faded poster of LL Cool J. As much as people love libraries, nobody likes those late fees that pile up if you forget to return a book. Because it's weird, right? Like, librarians are the nicest, gentlest people in the world, and then they just spring on you. It's like, enjoy the cat in the hat, sweetie, and have it back by Tuesday, or I will fucking drown you in debt! Well, now, some libraries are throwing in the towel. The nation's largest public library system says it's dropping all late fees for overdue books and other borrowed materials forever. In addition, library card holders have had the, their accounts wiped clean of any earlier fines. The idea is to encourage more people to use library resources. A spokesperson said that for people who can afford them, fines do little to encourage returning books on time. But for people who are struggling financially, those fines become a barrier to using libraries. 300 library systems across the country have already canceled fees. And while they typically generate three to four million dollars a year here in New York, library officials say they can make up the difference from other revenue sources. Wow. No more late fees. That's actually really exciting. I've never been to a bookless library before. No, but, th but this actually is great news, right? Instead of late fees just piling up forever, they'll just charge you the price of the book if you never return it, which makes the whole library experience so much more relaxed, you know? Like, I love libraries, but there's so many rules, so many rules. No talking, no smoking, no cockfighting rings. Loosen up, people. Although, I will be honest, I'm kind of gonna miss late fees. You know, it was the only thing forcing me to actually finish my library books. Like, if I didn't have that nickel a week hanging over me, I never would have found out why that caterpillar was so hungry. I actually never found out. I just, I just, yeah, I never did. And like they said, libraries don't need late fees. They can find other sources of revenue. You know, like, I don't know, a vending machine that only sells food you eat quietly or renting out hollow books for assassins to keep their guns in. Hell, they could start renting out libraries on Airbnb. I think it's a perfect idea. It's quiet, there's furniture, you can have sex in it, there's a 75-year-old woman who lives there who you can talk to, but don't have to talk to. It's just like an Airbnb. Moving on. These days, we talk a lot about systemic racism and how subtle discrimination is baked into all levels of society, but it's important to remember that America is not all like that. There's also very obvious one-on-one -on -one racism. So imagine moving your family into your dream home to start a new life, only to find yourself subjected to nonstop harassment from your new neighbor. That's what a black family in Virginia Beach has been living with. They describe an escalating campaign of racial slurs, loud music, and monkey noises. <laughs> Whenever we would step out of our house, the monkey noises would start so racist and it's disgusting. Like, I don't even know how else to explain it. The minute I open my front door, his lights blink or my music or my song comes on. Local police say while the behavior is appalling, it is not criminally actionable. Are you shitting me? I, I, I can't even believe that this is a real story in real life. And honestly, I, I actually find this kind of racism so baffling because this guy may be playing loud music and noises to harass his neighbors, but he's the one closest to the music and the loud noises. Like, is your racism really worth it if you can't even have a conversation in your own house? Hey, honey, I'm really ruining life for that black family! What? No, I'm not coming back from anything! No, the black family! I'm going deaf! I love you, too! And I'm sorry, man, but the police claiming that they can't do anything, that's such bullshit. Why don't they use one of those vague laws that they charge black people with all the time, like disturbing the peace, or your house has a broken taillight, sir? But yeah, I guess some people are just assholes. And without the police on their side, the Martinez family doesn't have a lot of options to stop the music and the monkey noises from playing. Although, one thing they could do is release some actual monkeys into the neighborhood. Yeah, because think about it, being racist is fun until a monkey hears mating sounds. Next thing you know, your racist ass is getting pounded by a monkey, all because you didn't want black neighbors. And finally, to the big celebrity news that everyone is talking about. No, not Britney finally being able to watch PG-13 movies. I'm talking about the radical interior decorating of pop star Megan Trainer. 
When you're married, it can often feel like you do everything together with your significant other. You know, watching shows, going shopping, you name it. But one celebrity, well, let's just say this couple is taking it to the next level when it comes to togetherness. Singer Megan Trainer had two toilets installed next to each other in her bathroom so that she and her husband can go to the bathroom at the same time. We've only pooped together twice. You? We pee at the same time a lot. White people. This really shows you how different relationships can be, right? Like you have some people who are like, I never fart in front of my spouse. And then you have other couples going, honey, I just booked a couple's dump for later tonight and I hope to see you there. And get that, they've pooped together not once, but twice. I mean, twice says a lot. Twice says you did it once and then looked at each other like, we should do that again. And they think this brings them closer as a couple, but I also think it could backfire, excuse the pun. Like, if her husband ever gets constipated, she's gonna think he's having an affair. All I'm saying is I would never do this. Like, I only poop the normal way, right? Next to a stranger with a one-inch wall between us. How God intended.